Hey y'all, it's Super Dave. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the 2021 Volkswagen Jetta. Gonna be talking about the EPC light coming on. Now this is like uh, some sort of engine protection lights coming on. Now this happens under hard acceleration, uh, wide open throttle. If you're going around 50, 60 miles an hour, uh, you push the gas pedal down, accelerator pedal, push it down all the way. The RPMs come up, the car starts, you know, picking up pretty good. You feel that turbo kicking in, and then all of a sudden, pow, you lose power. It's like you lost total power of the engine. And then it has a message that says EPC coming on the screen. Now I'm gonna make this happen. It's not on right now, but I'm gonna make this happen so you can see exactly what the vehicle is doing. So if you found this video, you probably have your EPC light coming on. And I'm gonna explain to you what it is, uh, what code is coming up, and what is causing this. Okay, y'all, as you can see, everything is normal here. Uh, vehicle status, there's uh, nothing going on. Uh, right now, I've got my speed around 70. I have 27,000 miles on this car. Now let's little, drop the speed down to about 65, 60, and let's floor it. Let's see if, it, if we can get it to happen. Here we go. Accelerator is down all the way. There it goes. EPC light came on. Uh, it has a message here. It says engine speed maximum 4,000. So right now I'm pushing the pedal all the way to the floor, all the way down. And my RPMs are like limited. It's barely, barely, barely accelerating. Barely accelerating. Now when I hook the scan tool to the vehicle, it's telling me I have a P2279 an intake air leak. Now an intake air leak can cause your engine to have a lean condition. Now a lean condition is gonna cause your engine to run hot. So the computer, the ECM on the vehicle is limiting your RPMs to prevent engine damage is what it's doing. Now since I'm I can't accelerate it. I can hardly pass anybody now. I'm pretty much driving like a grandpa right now. You know, no offense to the grandpas out there, but I'm a grandpa also. But anyways, I'm going to have to exit now. I'm going to have to pull into a parking lot. I'm going to have to shut the vehicle down. And then once I shut it down and then restart it, everything will be clear and everything will be okay again. It'll be okay, it'll drive like normal, and we'll, we'll be all good until the next time it happens. So I'm gonna be taking this vehicle in to the dealer for this problem because I'm sure that it's under warranty. It only has 27,000 miles on it go ahead and take it in and I'll let y'all know what they tell me at the dealer okay so I pull into the parking lot I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition off and then I'm gonna restart the vehicle right away and now the EPC has been cleared there's no more messages and now I can drive like normal. So I'm gonna head to the dealer and I'm gonna tell y'all what they tell me and we'll go from there. So I'm on my way to the Volkswagen dealership now. It's uh, Volkswagen of Alamo Heights. Uh, I did make a little mistake at the beginning of the video. I said this is a 2021. It's actually a 2020 Volkswagen Jetta, which is the same body style. And the engine that's in this one is a 1.4 liter turbo four-cylinder. 
So I'm gonna be pulling up to the dealer here in a second and uh, let's see what they tell me. All right, here's uh, the dealership here. Got them on Heights Volkswagen. Let's take it in and see what they tell us. All right, it's Super Dave, y'all, back again. I just picked my car up from the dealership. It was there three days, and the explanation they gave me for the EPC light, they said they checked it out, checked the codes. They said it was due for a ECM update, which I did get a letter for that in the mail. So they updated the ECM. Supposedly, they test drove it, and now the problem is fixed. The EPC light should not come on anymore when I accelerate, do my wide open throttle, and it should not come back on with any codes or anything. So we're gonna try it out here in a minute and see if it really is fixed. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. do it it looks like it may be fixed let's try again there we go all right that's that ECM update did take care of it well nice looks like it's fixed so if you do have this problem just like I did with the EPC light your vehicle may need to have the ECM updated because apparently that fits my issue and it is now working how it's supposed to well thank you all for watching my video I hope this helped you all out and I'll see you all on the next one